Very cheaply you can get things done, very cheaply. Not with the gun, not with the bomb, not with the stone. Very cheaply by God, I show you how it can be done. I said, you should have contacted one of these Tory MPs. Tory, you call it Tory. You know this conservative party, Margaret Thatcher's conservative party. Tory, how you pronounce it? Tory. One of these Tory MPs and shown him, he says, look, have a look at this, sir. Our Iron Lady, our Prime Minister, this fellow Rushdie, show him the page, open the page, page 269. He calls our Maggie torture. Torture, not Thatcher, torture. One sentence, one word sentence, torture, full stop. Then he calls her Maggie the bitch. You know that? He is calling our Prime Minister Maggie the bitch and he got away with it. Then on page 80 of his book, he says the British. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know how I'm going to say this. <laughs> page 80, he says the sister, F-U-C-K-I-N-G, British. You see, he's thinking in Gujarati or Hindi. He's come, born in Bombay. He wants to use the word that word that our 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 representative used on the TV, Ben Chod. <laughs> no, he's thinking in that language and he translates it, but not at that stage. When he uses that word, no translation. Sister fucking British. This is what he's telling them. You fuck your own sisters. British, whether you are Pakistani British or English British or Sikh British or Jamaican British, you fuck your own sisters. You take that? You take that? I said, tell this to the MP. Look at this, sir. And this guy on page 169, I'll come to it later in detail, he has sex with the queen. He even prohibits with the queen. I will come to that. I tell you, immediately the book would have been banned. Immediately. No, no arguments. But you were crying about yourself. You know, he saw my mother, he saw my fathers, our spiritual fathers, our sahabas, he did this, he did that. It's a good luck to you. You are a people, you know, you have been a challenge to us for over a thousand years. You conquered once Christian lands, never to be retaken. The whole of North Africa was Christian. Whole of North Africa, Egypt, El Morocco, Algeria, Libya, the whole lot was Christian. The whole of the Middle East, Syria, Palestine, what you call Lebanon, all this was Christian. You came and ruled Spain for 800 years. You knocked at the gates of Vienna. You have it a challenge. And even now, when you are down and out in the gutter, even now you tell the guy, he says, look, sir, don't drink. Drinking is bad. Gambling is bad. No dating, no dancing, no courting. Don't eat the pig. Don't you? Walata kulu salasa. Don't say Trinity. Look, you are a thorn in his side. Now for a change, your own child, one of your own, he's put a pineapple up your backside. See how it feels now? He's getting sadistic pleasures. He's getting pleasures in our pain. You cry, you wail, you burn books, you march, he's happy. He's getting a subtle revenge on you, through your own. The way was to turn the tables. Bas, I don't know how, how you address them, I don't know how you address them here. I would say, Bas, Barpaka Saheb, look what this guy is saying about you. Not about me, my mother, about you, your mother. Your sister, your wife, your daughter. You show him and you see how he reacts. Some fellows tell me that the British are insensitive. They are insensitive. They have grown a thick skin. You can tell them what you like. You can swear them as you like. They don't react. I say, don't take a chance. You're making a mistake. He's highly sensitive. But his sensitivity is selective. 
where it affects him. I will give you illustration examples. Right. So generally, they pose us the question, have you read the book? And when we say no, they have a big laugh. They have a big laugh. Now for a change, you should ask them, have you read the book, sir? He says, no. And you are armed with this booklet of mine. You just memorize some of these statements, verses, and you quote him. He says, you know, sir, the first page of Satanic Salman, Satanic Verses. First page, chapter one, page one. He says, a direct quotation I'm giving you, direct quotation from the book, page one. Don't go far. Start with page one. You have been going too far. You know, you have been going to page 268 and 200, 300. Don't go that far, start with page one. If you have been reading, you can start with page one. Even before page one, you can start with this, his prologue, his prophecy about his own destruction. Not a place to rest his foot upon. No place for him. No peace. That's what he's saying. He's prophesying somebody is making him to write. He so look, this is your end. This is your destiny. That's the first page, really. But he doesn't number it. So we take chapter one, that, that page, first page, he says, proper London. This place here, London? Are we in London? Yeah, proper London, by here we come. Those bastards down there won't know what hit them. Which bastards? Londoners. You Londoners are bastards. Whether you are Pakistani Londoners or Sikh Londoners or English Londoners, what Londoners are you? If you are a Londoner, you are a bastard and the things are coming down to destroy you. Direct quotation. Now, how he does he feel? He said, look, he's calling us all bastards. You accept that? If it came from you as a Pakistani or as an Arab, the guy will punch you on the jaw. You know that? But this is a son-in-law. He married your sister, your daughter, a British girl. So you have to take it from him. No? You see, we people from the East, we, we seem to respect our son-in-laws, our brother-in-laws more than our own children. You know that? Because he is my son-in-law, my daughter's happiness is at stake. He is my brother-in-law, my sister's. This is, this is our mentality. Is that the English mentality too? I don't know. But he, they have a, some special feeling towards this satan, satanic Salman. So he starts with bastard, very mild. But I said, wait a little till he gets warmed up. Let him get warmed up. That's the first page that was. He uses, on that first page, 16 Hindi words. 16, one, six. For which he gives you no meaning. And you lap it up. I'm talking about the English now. The Hindi, maybe some Hindu. Our young people, what will they understand? Yar, bhai. Huh? What will you understand? What is he talking about? No, no. <laughs> if I read it to you, it's, it's, you can't imagine, you can't imagine anybody taking this book up, paying 15 pounds, the fool, he pays 15 pounds for this book, and he reads this. I read the first paragraph. See what you make of it. To be born again, sang Jibreel Farishta, tumbling from the heavens. First you have to die. Hoji, 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 the Englishman understands what he's saying, Hoji, Hoji. <laughs> to land upon the Buzumi earth, first one needs to fly. Tata, Takatum. The Englishman laps it up. Very nice, very nice. What? Indian spice. Huh? Yeah. Still the paragraph is not finished. How to ever smile again? If first you won't cry, how to win the darling's love? Mister, without a sigh. 
Baba, if you want to get born again, just before dawn, once winter's morning, New Year's Day, or thereabouts, two real, full-grown, living men fell from a great height, 29,002 feet, towards the English Channel, without benefit of parachutes or wings out of a clear sky. And this is a masterpiece of the English language. Hmm? Yes, for which he gets a Booker Award. He gets a Booker Award for that. And it carries on 16 words. And by the time I finish up, I said, you know this guy here, he spattered the whole book, over 100 different exotic Indian words. And the choices of the language from the gutters of Bombay, or the sewers, sewers, you know, sewer pipes from the sewers of Bombay, page 80. He says, hijras, chutias, shits. <laughs> the Englishman, I want to know what is he lapping up? He's telling the guy, hijras, chutias, shits. Yeah, do you understand shits? So he senses the other thing must be also <laughs> something. <laughs> but what does he know what he's reading? And these poor fools, the French will translate that into French with hijras chutia shits and the German will hijras chutia shits and our Jewish brother and cousins in Palestine, in Israel, they, in Hebrew they will write in Hebrew and they'll say, they'll write hijras chutia shits. Shits of course they'll have the word for it. What are they doing? This guy has made a monkey out of everybody. Look, he's a mighty genius. He's our own. We produced him. But the British cultivated him. <laughs> he is the, they are the, his godfathers, godfathers, protectors. You know, I can't even translate this. I can translate, I know the meaning. Bulk of you think you know the meaning. You really don't know the meaning of what he's saying. Very few, very rare. What he's getting away with. We should ask the Penguin publishers, Sir, do you know what he's saying? You haven't translated, he hasn't given you a glossary at the end of the book to tell you this word means that this, nothing. He doesn't, he doesn't do that. He doesn't do that. He's getting away with murder. But nobody showed it to our, our fellow countrymen. He said, look, this guy is making a monkey out of you, sir. Look what he's doing to you. <laughs> we must ask the Josephine Pauline Thompson of the General Secretary of the PEN, you know, the society of all these essayists and editors and ed writers and playwrights and all that kind of thing. They have a society called PEN, acronym for all these things. Michael Foote and the Booker Prize Committee. Ask them, what is this for which you paid this guy $800,000 or Pounds, I don't know, with this dollar, but it's 800,000, all right. As advance money. He said, this shit, don't give another printer. We will have this, we will eat this. That's what they did. Advance money. He said, look, this is for us, reserve it for us. He's made monkeys out of everybody. And he got money in the process. <laughs> he's our product, he's a mighty genius.